I'm going to show you how to put the compound interest formula into the TI-30XIIS calculator. Here I have an example of a compound interest formula where our principal amount that we begin with is 500 and the rate is 5% for 10 years compounded annually. So our P sub zero is 500. The R, we have to change it to a decimal. So instead of 5%, it's 0 0.05. It's compounded annually. So our Ks are one and it's for 10 years. So our N is 10. So to put that into the calculator, we just put it just like it looks. So we have 500, 500, and then times one plus the fraction there. So I'm going to open a parenthesis and then put in one plus, and then for my fraction, it's 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths divided by one. Okay, your calculator is going to follow order of operations, so you don't need to put that in parentheses. You can put 0 0.05 divided by 1 and then close that whole group of parentheses. Um, even if it's some other fraction, say if it's um, compounded quarterly and you have to divide by 4, it still would work fine if you just put in whatever your interest rate is divided by that number. Um, okay, so the whole thing that's in parentheses and then it's raised to a power. Okay, so to raise this parentheses to a power, we're gonna, we're gonna use this little caret key, this key right here. It looks like it's an arrow pointing up. So we press the caret key and then I'm raising it to the 10 times one power. So you can, whatever you're raising it to, if it's, again, if it's compounded quarterly or annually and you can't just in your head multiply that out, you can put that in parentheses, 10 times one. But if it's something easy like that, I would have just raised it to the 10th power. You just do the caret key and the number 10 um, and that's it. But if you want to use the calculator to multiply it out, put it in parentheses. Otherwise it's gonna raise it to the first number and then multiply the whole thing times whatever you put at the end if you don't put it in parentheses. Okay, so let's hit enter and we get $814 and we would round that to the nearest cent. So it would be $814.45.